The best six-wheeled cars ever. Sometimes four wheels simply aren't enough. Here are six of the coolest cars with six wheels ever made. Some might say that four wheels are better than two, so surely adding a couple more can't hurt? A handful of established and specialist car makers have produced some weird and wonderful six-wheeled cars over the years and we picked the top half dozen. The cars we've ranked range from the beefiest of off-roaders that can tackle the roughest terrains in the world, to bespoke supercars designed for speed, and to turn heads. Having a car with six wheels also tends to imply absolute excess, which is why quite a few of these cars have come from independent tuners or the skunk works operations of major manufacturers. For good measure, we've also picked out a car that has even more than six wheels. The greatest six-wheeled cars. Here's our pick of some of the most outrageous six-wheelers ever created. Land Rover Defender Flying Huntsman. Britain's answer to the barrage of bonkers six-wheeled subs is the Land Rover Defender Flying Huntsman. The brainchild of luxury 4x4 and performance specialist con design, the Flying Huntsman is a world apart from your average farmyard defender. The chassis has been stretched by 400 millimeters to accommodate the extra wheels and, rather than an agricultural diesel engine, it's powered by a monstrous 6.2 liter V8 from General Motors, pumping out 500 bhp. Other modifications include a panoramic glass roof, bespoke red leather interior and satin style paintwork known as Chromax. Expect to pay in the region of 200,000 pounds, depending on the options included. Hennessy Velociraptor. They say everything is bigger in Texas, and that's certainly true of the PIC UPS. Tuning specialist Hennessy Performance, which is based in the Lone Star State, has worked its magic on the 2017 version of the Ford F-150 Raptor before its official on-sale date. The result is the Velociraptor 6x6, with half a dozen 20-inch wheels wrapped in off-road tires, locking rear axles, upgraded suspension, and a heap of chunky exterior features. The firm describes it as a concept, but it can be bought for a cool £250,000. Tyrell P34 with four minuscule front wheels and gigantic rear tires, the Tyrell P34 is arguably one of the most distinctive Formula One cars of all time. Even in the outlandish era of 70s motorsport, few racers looked this extreme. Affectionately known as the six-wheeler, it debuted at the 1976 Spanish Grand Prix, and later that season Tyrell drivers Patrick Depailler and Jody Schechter drove their P34S to first and second in the Swedish Grand Prix. However, former world champ Schechter openly called the car a piece of junk. Panther 6 The Panther 6 was the original extravagant six-wheeled supercar. It debuted at the 1977 Earl's Court Motor Fair and wowed the crowds with its appearance and sheer excess. Under the bonnet was an 8.2-liter Cadillac V8 with acclaimed 600 bhp and an equally unproven 200 miles per hour top speed, while luxuries included a telephone in each door and dash-mounted TV. The price tag of £39,950 was around 40% or more than the expensive Ferraris and Lamborghinis of the time. Coveney C6W A spiritual successor to the Panther 6, the Coveney C6W six-wheeled supercar was unveiled in 2004. Sporting the same four up front, two at the back wheel layout, the C6W used a mid-mounted 434 bhp 4.2 liter Audi V8, and had a claimed top speed of 185 miles per hour. Coveney claimed the combination of four-wheel steering and a curb weight of less than 1,200 kilograms made it agile enough to give established supercars a run for their money. It's unknown how many, if any at all, have been built. Mercedes-AMG G63 6X6 The standard Mercedes G-Wagon is garish enough, but you can go one or two better with the G63 6X6. The six-wheeled pickup is the biggest and most extravagant street-legal off-roader the firm has ever produced, at 5.87 meters long and with a curb weight of well over 3 tons. It was initially developed for the Australian military with a more utilitarian turbo-diesel engine, 
but power for the road going version comes from a 5.5 liter 537 bhp twin turbo v8 and it's sent to every wheel in a 30 hours 40 minutes and 30 seconds configuration the g63 also features an onboard compressor which can raise or lower the tire pressures to better suit the surface and when even six wheels won't do why have six wheels when you can have eight Russian firm Avtoros went two better with the terrain battling Shaman, which weighs in at 4.8 tons and 6.3 meters long. A 3.0 liter 176 bhp Ivco turbo diesel engine seems humble for such a behemoth, but despite its imposing size, the Shaman favors function over form. It can be driven on tarmac of course, but it's designed for heavy duty off road use and can cross surfaces too extreme for even a Land Rover Defender courtesy of multiple locking diffs and eight-wheel steering. It can even be fitted with a screw propeller for traversing deep water.